How many shots have you done? I don't know. Today? Probably like... Shoot three every time, so it's probably 20 rounds so far. So what's that? 60 shots so far. But I took a break for dinner. How's that one look? Low, but the point was the point was loose on it. You could hear it vibrating on the way out. It took off. Money shot. Where we like it. There we go. Like I said, there's always two that are in, one that's got a loose flyer. What's that? How did it look? I'd say those two are pretty good. Aiming for there. 40 yards, a hair low. I'll take it. It's better than what I started at a couple months ago. But if I could shoot every day, it'd be a lot better. Once every Sunday is when I shoot, because I can't shoot at my own house, so. One day. One day, I'll be able to shoot at my house. I'm gonna shoot these three, and then we'll let her fly at like 70, 80 yards, just for. For kicks. Just for kicks and giggles. There we go. Two good, one out. Like always. <laughs> 40 yards. Oh, wait. Yeah, we do got one right now. So you got two good, one out. As always. Not too bad still. Yeah, but this one could be. I pulled this one. See, that's why I could never be a professional archer shooter because you shoot three at a time. I'd score good. Score, what, two tens and a five or something like that <laughs> every round. <laughs> I better just stay here. There's a branch that's overhanging. Okay, so I'll go. 74. Dial her up. We'll do three and we'll call it a night. Clear okay, go there. for it. Is it clear on the other side? What is this, 75 yards? 74. 74 yards. It hit the bag. I have no idea what these shots look like. We'll shoot again, let's see what happens. So this is your 70 four yard shot. Not too shabby. Look at that. We got one in the center and then two just outside. Good left and right. Perfect left and right. Ain't too shabby. I'll never shoot a white tail at 74 but it's fun to practice. We'll move it back. I don't know where do you want to go. I think 90. Let's try 90. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think there's cars coming. Just don't get hit. Just don't get hit. <laughs> Guess we should dial it up to 90, huh? Hopefully I have enough clear. I heard it hit. 
sure does take a while for it to get out there, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like what? Second or two of a arc? It hit. <laughs> three for three on the hit. Who knows what it looks like on the target, though. Suckers probably gets like three or four feet above my head before it actually comes down and hits the target. Not nearly as good as the, what, 74 that was pretty much right inside the black. But, oh well. It's just fun to shoot. If you can shoot decent at 90, you should be able to shoot pretty darn good at 40 to shoot a deer, so. Oh well. Do you want to tell us about your uh, target setup? Oh. So this is the target that we built. That's probably nine feet high or so. Uh, I actually got this wood off of a project. An old covered bridge here in Pennsylvania is actually where this wood came from. And we just built a big backstop and then we line our targets up. Shoot field tips at this one, this target and this target. And then we mainly just shoot broadheads at this target. It's a foam target. So that's what we use. We use big shot targets. For these two, which are uh, actually the, probably the best targets I ever shot at. We've been shooting at this target for, I don't know how long, three, four years now. And it look, it's in really good shape. The arrows don't go through the back of it. I mean, it's had hundreds and hundreds of shots at it, but it's still, it's still in really good condition. So that's the targets that I would recommend right there. This is the Iron Man. I don't even know if they make them anymore, but or they, if that's even the name of them. But what used to be the Iron Man is what we use. I'd highly recommend. There it is. I'm gonna cover them up. <laughs>